Happy birthday, baby. So I'm gonna talk about three of your strengths. Um, the first one is I love how open you are. So um, a memory that I have with you about when you were open is when we first started um, dating in Denver and we were in bed and you started to cry a little bit and I asked, you know, what's wrong? And you said, I'm just so happy. And it was in that moment that I think I realized that we were falling in love, that I loved you and you loved me. And I also realized that, wow, this is someone who's real with his emotions, with his feelings and his thoughts. And I just completely love that about you, how you're very open and you say what you mean and you mean what you say and it's a wonderful quality um, that I cherish about you. Secondly is I love how committed you are. So once you put your mind to something you're super committed, um, you stick with it and I think that's wonderful. Um, an example of that is of course his, uh, when we first got Denver, when she was a puppy, I remember us having to take her out multiple times a night, and um, you were so committed in doing that. Speaking of the devil, Denver, come here. Speak of the devil. Speak of the little devil. I remember when she was a puppy, and you were completely fine with taking her out um, and you did so a lot of the times when you know I didn't want to or I mean it was every night um, and then all, obviously also when she had her she had her surgery um, her her space surgery and you slept downstairs with her for a whole week I mean that was just so it's just a testament to your commitment to our, our little fur baby um, and it's just so wonderful you're just very committed and <laughs> um, we love that about you and um, you're very inspiring in that way I love your commitment to your your family to to me to Denver um, and to everything that you do the third strength is and I've told you this many times but your intelligence and specifically about your intelligence I love how you are so articulate and when you present arguments when you are solving problems um, just I love how you use your words and that goes back to you being um, open it's just, I think, a skill that is, you know, it's innate for you, but also uh, when you speak and when you're really passionate about something or you believe in something or you're excited about something, it really comes across and the way you talk about it is very articulate and um, you paint a very clear picture uh, and I love that about you. It's something I admire, something that inspires me. Um, and I think it will serve you well in your upcoming career and just in life. It's just nice to, and easy to communicate with someone who's very open and then also very clear and articulate and intelligent. So I could talk about your strengths all day, um, but those are three of them. And I'm so very grateful for having you in my life and I wish you the happiest of birthdays and I love you David hey Dave happy birthday obviously I am filming this while driving I'm on my way home from Big Stone Gap so I figured this was perfect time uninterrupted um, so three things three strengths that I think about you and examples of each so um, I would say the first is just um, the amount of effort you put into, you know, knowing about something, um, 
for example, I mean, what comes to my mind immediately is the coffee machines. So obviously you put a lot of time and effort into figuring out which is the best espresso machine and all the different features. And um, so if there's ever anything that I need to know about coffee or uh, I think credit cards is another good example, then I would just call you and I would know that you've put a lot of time and effort into figuring out what is the best options. And so I think that is really cool. Um, the second thing would be probably um, your determination. I know that it is really difficult, I would imagine, to take this step and go back to school, um, especially after being out for a while. I know that studying is not very fun and it's really hard even when you're in the kind of middle of, you know, the early school years. So going back to do that, um, I have just a ton of respect for you for doing that because I know that it's really difficult when you kind of get in the swing of life and you know get married have a dog have a house you know a lot of other responsibilities come into play so I think that's really awesome and I'm very proud of you for how well you've done and everything that you're doing and I think that you're gonna be an awesome lawyer we're super excited to have a lawyer in the family so um, we're gonna be asking you lots of questions I mean hopefully not too many because that means we'd be in trouble or something but i um, super excited about that. And I would say probably the third strength that I can think of is just um, the way you love and take care of people. Um, so obviously, you know, the two examples I can think of are Mickey and Denver. Um, every time you guys come into town, I see how well, you know, you care for Mickey, how much, you know, you love her and Denver as well, you know, always looking out for their, you know, well-being and just making sure that everyone is comfortable and okay and well um, supplied for. So I think that's just really cool to watch you in that role. And I know that you'll be the exact same way whenever you guys have kids. Um, I'm sure you're going to be an awesome dad just taking care of them the best way you know how. Um, so hopefully these three things will make you smile. Um, and I hope you have an amazing birthday. And hopefully we'll see you guys again soon. Happy birthday. Love you. Dave, happy birthday from your mom. Some of your strengths include caring for others. You truly care about other people that are down on their luck. Many times you've told me about passing someone on the street and giving them money when they were down on their luck. But more than that, you felt troubled about their situation. You're also very smart, Davey, really probably smarter than you ever re even realize. And that's evident by where you are today in your school. David and I really appreciate the honor that you have given us. God said, honor your father and mother so that your days on the earth will be long. Thanks for calling us every day and we know you genu genuinely care about what is going on in our lives and how we're doing. Even though we know you're very busy and working very hard, you still take out time. We know that you also appreciate all that we've done for you and many times you told us thank you and we appreciate that. So happy birthday and we love you very much and can't wait to see you. Happy birthday, David. Uh, you are very functional. Whenever we are going to travel together, either your parents' place or you came to Japan, you are always on time and wait for us and then uh, nicely start. The second thing is that you are very loyal, which uh, amazed me. You call the parents, your parents, every day, which it's not my you know custom. So. Uh, I admire that to, to uh, take care of your parents and then uh, always uh, um, keep in touch with them. And then thirdly, uh, you are very uh, friendly. The one experience I had with you was whenever you, you, know, you came to our 
our house and then you live with us and then there is no um, uh, the uh, you know the bad or strange time uh, very smoothly uh, coming coming to our family which amazed me and the uh, smooth transition so we had uh, no uh, problem with staying with you and then uh, having fun with you and then thank you so much take care of Mickey and then good luck for your future we are looking for you be a great lawyer happy birthday hi David Happy birthday. I hope you uh, have a wonderful one and sorry we won't be here to be with you at the time, but uh, I thought I'd uh, point out three things that uh, really stand out for me uh, in our deepening relationship. First, you're a very thoughtful and uh, a very thoughtful person and a, a wonderful mentor, reverse mentor. Uh, your suggestions on how to do online banking and, and uh, all the things that I could do over overseas that I didn't realize were possible were really, really helpful. And they've uh, helped me survive in, uh, in Japan without any problems. So thank you for that. Uh, I also wanted to say that uh, you're fun to be with. Uh, I always enjoy our conversations on so many different topics. Uh, we never seem to run out of things to, to talk about, and they're always uh, enjoyable. So thank you for, for that as well. And um, finally, I guess even most importantly is uh, how impressed I've been with how conscientious you are in, uh, in preparing for anything you do. You always go so deeply into the, the things that you're uh, trying to accomplish. So. The one that stood out for me was uh, your, your long-term preparation for the law uh, exam. Uh, I, I uh, was very impressed with how you uh, were so methodical and thorough in, uh, in, in preparing for that. So no wonder you've been doing well in law school. So again, happy birthday and thank you so much for taking such good care of Mickey for us. Uh, we, we love having you as a son-in-law. We, we couldn't have done better. Hello, Dave. I want to tell you happy birthday and tell you that we love you. Um, you've really grown over the past few years and matured. Uh, I know that you know how proud I am of you. Um, you really seem to have hit your stride and found what you like to do or what you're good at. Um, we watched you when Mickey was overseas and uh, admired your uh, fidelity to her and your loyalty to her while she was gone as you supported her during that. And uh, we've also watched you become a very serious student and uh, think you're going to be successful in whatever you end up doing so we could not be more proud of you we love you happy birthday David three of your strengths are you're a good listener you listen to me complain about school you're a good problem solver like helping me think through how to approach a case or a challenging topic at class and you're a good distraction because sometimes I don't want to talk about school I just want to talk about basketball happy birthday Hey there, David. Greetings from Fort Collins, Colorado, and I just wanted to wish you a happy merry birthday and congratulations on making it to 32. Three characteristics that I admire most about you are your determination, your loyalty, and you being caring and compassionate. Let's start off with determination. Even before school began, you studied endlessly for the LSATs exam and you did everything that you could to get a leg up on the students taking the same test. You went to your classes, you did your work study books, and you studied endlessly for these for this test and you did a great job and I'm very proud of you for that. And once school started, you kept that determination right up and you read and you study by yourself after going to school for an ungodly amount of time. You come home and you read and you do your work immediately and I just admire that determination so much. I hope for my future uh, sake that 
if it's whether being school or during work, that I have as much determination and dedication as you have for your studies. Thank you for being an inspiration in that regard. Let's talk about loyalty. As I said to you before, when Mickey went to Moldova, she didn't have the best of times. She was lonely and scared in a new environment, and she really needed uh, help from her family and friends and love. Uh, and you really did provide all of that. Um, I'm sad to say that I wasn't really there as much as I should have been for Mickey, but you stepped into that role beautifully, and you called her almost every single day, if not every single day, and you comforted her, and you were there for her. You were a shoulder to cry on, or to confess, you know, things to get off her chest, or what have you. And I can't thank you enough for being there for her. You really did and you know help her out and that really means a lot to me so I can't thank you enough for being so loyal to this family to Mickey and to my parents you know you just you've done a great job being the man that I always knew you could be and you couldn't be a better brother-in-law either which brings me to caring and compassion which you have tons of I never knew how similar we were until I you know told you guys about my problems in Colorado and with school and how I just wasn't motivated and I was really having a tough time. You know, you sat down with me and Mickey and we talked for a long time uh, to figure out solutions for my problems. And you know, and this is something that you really didn't need to do. This is, you know, I am your family, but you know, I'm not your immediate, um, inner social circle and the way that you comforted me and made me feel that it was okay and that you had gone through similar experiences really touched me and I thank you so much for just being there as a person and as a brother um, and I can't thank you enough for doing all the things that you have done for this family and for my sister and for me as well um, yeah Thank you so much for being a fucking awesome guy, and I hope you continue to do well at school. I know you're in the top 33%, but you could be as high as 15, so let's just say you're uh, top 15%, shall we? Um, I can't wait for you to come to Denver um, in June or July, I think it's July, and I will definitely drive down and we can spend a weekend together with Mickey, um, and you know, I'll come down and see you as much as I possibly can. Yeah. So thank you so much for being the best brother-in-law in the world. And this is Carl Lendeman wishing you a happy 30, 32nd birthday and to, uh, to many more. Thank you so much, David. I love you, man. Bye. Hey, David, it's your pal Spence here. Just uh, here to wish you a happy birthday and to say begrudgingly somewhat, go Vols. Um, Sorry, sorry about the loss. My cats are right there with you. Uh, anyway, so I'm supposed to say a couple of nice things about you. Fortunately, there are lots to choose from, but a couple that I want to hit. Number one, your flexibility. I mean, you've lived a lot of places, and that, that takes a special mindset. Uh, coming from somebody who's lived in Kentucky for about three decades now. Uh, man, I remember when you first found out about D.C., uh, you handled that like a trooper. It was a bit of a surprise, but, man, you just take everything in stride. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is your commitment to Mickey. Uh, you were always a little farther along than Abby and I, but always admired the way that you worked to maintain your relationship while you're here in Louisville. Uh, truly, it was pretty inspiring. Uh, in any case, man, miss you, bud. Happy birthday. Hi, Daddy. Happy birthday to you. I want to say that your three strengths are that you're caring, you care about me, you take care of me when I'm sick, or when you take me out to the bathroom, or when you take care of me when I'm in surgery, you always take care of me. And I love you for that. Secondly, you're fun. You play with me. Even when you don't want to, you play with me. And I love that you play with me. And thirdly, you're the best daddy that anyone could ever ask for because you love me and because you let me love you. I love you, daddy, and happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>
Happy birthday to you. Go. Hello, David. <laughs> I come to you while doing dishes because I have failed to do this video multiple times. Pretty much for like a month. So, you're getting the interactive version of your birthday message. Uh, you are my brother-in-law, <laughs> or also known as brother in legal, because <laughs> you're in legal school. Uh, law is actually very fitting. I think I'm the only person that can say that about you. So, yeah, things I like about you. Um, you're well-groomed. <laughs> your dog is well-groomed. <laughs> uh, I do like that you are in law school because hopefully I never need to use your services, but I really do like that you uh, know the law because, um, well, your sister's bound to uh, get me in trouble at some point. Also, I like that you like Tennessee basketball. I like uh, to watch that as well, Tennessee football, college sports. Granted, I'll take Creighton over Tennessee, just so you know. Um, and yeah, that's about all I got. Nice. Happy birthday and uh, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Early. Love you. Love you. Bye. Hi, David. Happy birthday. I don't know what my hair is doing today, but we're just going to go with it. Um, so anyway, we are going to be talking about three of your strengths. So the first strength that I wanted to mention um, is how hard of a worker you are. Um, so that goes to show, I think, especially in your experience in law school. Um, I can't even imagine going through law school. I would fail out and you have been working so hard and doing so well. Um, I think when you have a goal to work towards, you're so driven and motivated and you work as hard as you can to get there. Um, I think that is really awesome. Um, every time I come over, you are studying or working on a paper. Um, you're really serious about it and you really work hard. And I think, yeah, that, that is a great strength. The second strength is um, that you are a wonderful cook slash baker. There was one time I came over and you had made a southern meal um, with the collard greens and the cornbread and everything. Um, and it was delicious. And of course, every time you make the chocolate chip cookies, they're always cooked to perfection. I always overcook them and they're crunchy and gross, but um, you have very good intuition about exactly how long to leave them in. Um, I haven't tried any of your other dishes, I don't think, but I hear tell that they are wonderful for Mickey. Um, and I hope one day to try some more. Um, the third strength is how supportive of a partner you are to Mickey. And the example that I'll give is um, during her time in the Peace Corps, I know that a big reason that she um, got through it was because you were so supportive for her and just such an essential um, rock for her. And I know it wasn't easy for either of you guys to be apart, but you were just there for her the whole time, um, which is really wonderful. And just in general, you've been really supportive of her, always supportive of her goals, um, and I think it goes to show that you are um, just really caring to those around you who you love. So that is wonderful. Okay, and those are your three strengths that I will talk about today. So again, happy birthday. Hi, David. Hey, David. We are here to talk about your strengths. Woo! Yay, and how awesome you are. So we came up with three top strengths well I don't even know if they're top they're just the things that we kind of came up for us first um, yep. but the first one was and is loyalty we feel like you're a very loyal person I mean even just kind of the way that I've seen you with Mickey and like you stuck through everything with Peace Corps and you were just like there for her and such a huge support and in it yourself and just like awesome and you stuck through it and you're like we're there and you're very loyal and that's something that's like really hard for a lot of people to do and is a I think a huge strength we also picked a uh, strong willed for you because um, we've just seen you really take on more and more and grow as a person uh, from you know 
uh, the marriage to getting Denver um, and then deciding to go back to school. Yeah. Um, and we're like really proud of you for all of that. So that was the second topic that we picked for you. Yeah. Yeah. And it kind of also like relates to that bit about loyalty of just like you guys, like when you, it's like you're a person of your word. When you say that you're going to do something, you're like you do it and follow through with it. Even if it's hard, even if it's like you're studying all the time and that's just your whole life for a while, you're putting yourself like through it because that you know that's what you want and that's something that you have like dedicated yourself to which is awesome and entirely you know you dive right in the deep end there's no easing into it you're just straight from point a to point b b lining it yeah yeah it's awesome it's very inspiring um and we also just kind of noted how much charisma you have in general number three charisma yeah. charisma um you just kind of like whatever situation you're in, you seem to adapt really well to it. And like you can talk to whoever, like it just seem like you feel comfortable engaging or at least it appears that way from the outside, which is a strength. Yeah, you can like, you can really control room and have a great dynamic of friends. It's something that um, I think I really saw you shine at, uh, you know, pre-wedding when we were all hanging out and seeing all the people we were hanging out with. Um, and yeah, I, you're inspiring, you know? Like we said, that wraps back to the school and, like, your dedication as well. Yeah, yeah. You find inspiration in it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We love you. Yay. Love you. And also, just got to throw it in there, you have an amazing skill for making cookies. And that's mm -hmm. always noted. will never be forgotten. So, yeah. you know, that's a, that's up there on the top. All right. Do oh. That. Wait, so... Um, oh, oh, yeah, fix it. Yeah. Hold on. You guys are going to have to stand by. How do I get it to... See where it says full screen over there? Up top? Yep. Yeah. So, we want to say happy birthday. Yay! Happy and birthday. for the reasons... Happy birthday. The reasons we picked our charisma. Right? Strong-willed. Strong-willed. And, and loyalty. Loyal. And for those reasons, we have decided that you are a German Shepherd. I have no idea if the picture is holding good. No. no. Okay. Da da Happy birthday, David. So we're supposed to talk about three of your strengths. So I think the first strength that I want to touch on is one that I recognized even before I ever met you, which is your loyalty. It was so evident how loyal you were to Mickey and all the things you did to help make your relationship work while she was in the Peace Corps. And since then, I've been impressed by your dedication, not only to your marriage, but also to getting into law school and now to being in law school. More than that, I'm also continually impressed by your candor, your willingness to be honest, about all the things in your life, good and bad, with those around you. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, and I'm so grateful that you and Mickey are in my life. Have a good one. Hey, David. One thing I respect about you is how motivated and dedicated you are to work hard to make sure you get what you want out of life. I hope you have a happy, happy birthday. Bye.